So to you, the use of a tactical nuclear weapon, maybe you can draw the line between a tactical and a strategic nuclear weapon that could be a catalyst. Like that's a very difficult thing to walk back from. Oh my God, almost certainly. And again, any every person in the national security environment tells will, will agree with that, right? Certainly on the American side. Um, strategic weapons, those are like big weapons systems. The America has a nuclear triad. We have our ICBMs, which are the silo-based missiles that have a nuclear warhead in the nose cone, and they can get from one continent to the other in roughly 30 minutes. Then we have our bombers, B-52s and B-2s, that are nuclear capable. Um, those take travel time to get to another continent. Those can also be recalled. The ICBMs cannot be recalled or redirected once launched. That one is a particularly terrifying one. So land-launched missiles, rockets with a warhead can't be recalled. Cannot be recalled or redirected. And speaking of how little the president generally know, as we were talking a moment ago, President Reagan in 1983 gave a press conference where he misstated that submarine-launched ballistic missiles could be recalled. They cannot be recalled. So that gives you, here's the guy in charge of the arsenal if it has to get let loose, and he doesn't even know that they cannot be recalled. So this is the kind of misinformation and disinformation. And, and you know, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres recently said when he was talking about the conflicts rising around the world, he said, we are one misunderstanding, one miscalculation away from nuclear Armageddon. So just to sort of linger on the previous point of tactical nukes, so you were describing strategic nukes, land-launched, uh, bombers, submarine-launched. What are tactical nukes? So th that's the triad, right? And we have right. the triad and... Russia has the triad. Tactical nuclear weapons are smaller warheads that were designed to be used in battle. And that is what Russia is sort of threatening to use right now. That is this idea that you would, you know, make a decision on the battlefield in an operational environment to use a tactical nuclear weapon. You're just sort of upping the ante. But the problem is that all treaties are based on this idea of no nuclear use, right? You cannot cross that line. And so the what would happen if the line is crossed is so devastating to even consider. I think that the conversation is well worth having among everyone, you know, that is in a power of position how, as, you know, the UN Secretary General said, this is madness, right? This is madness. We must come back from the brink. We are at the brink. 